So the Devils over at the Major League Baseball, the MLB have decided uh, in light of some recent comments made, some anti-Black Lives Matter tweets made by a Seattle Mariners catcher, uh, they are going to suspend him without pay for the rest of the baseball season um, as we're seeing more and more of a shift um, in Major League sports, shifting more towards censorship and advocating and supporting violence and, um, well, pretty much anything um, opposing um, law and order. So, yeah, uh, th this is this is crazy, guys. Uh, th this catcher goes and makes some tweets um, about how he's disgusted with the Black Lives Matter protesters in Charlotte and the, uh, you know, the whole anti-police uh, message that they're preaching out there. So they suspend reserve catcher Steve Clevenger for the rest of the season without pay. This happened on Friday. Okay. For tweeting what they call disparaging remarks about Black Lives Matter protesters and the controversy over police shootings. Quote, as soon as we became aware of the tweets posted by Steve yesterday, we began to examine all of our options in regard to his standing on the team, General Manager Jerry Depoto said. He said Clevenger was informed of the suspension on Friday. Quote, black people beating whites when a thug got shot holding a gun by a black officer. Ha ha, expletive, cracks me up. Keep kneeling for the anthem, one of Clevenger's tweets read. BLM is pathetic once again. Obama, you are pathetic once again. Everyone involved should be locked behind bars like animals, another tweet said. And I completely agree with him. 100%. He's right. <laughs> Clevenger said, had said earlier he had deleted the tweets and changed his Twitter account to protected mode, according to the Seattle Times. Clevenger released a statement to Fox Sports late Thursday night apologizing for the distraction of my tweets on my personal Twitter page uh, caused when they went public earlier today. He's quoted as saying, I am sickened by the idea that anyone would think of me in racist terms, he said. My tweets were reactionary to the events I saw on the news and were worded beyond poorly at best, and I can see how and why someone could read into my tweets as far uh, as far more deeply than how I actually you know feel about them. The Mariners acquired Clevenger from the Baltimore Orioles in a trade uh, for Mark Trumbo and C.J. Riefenhauser. He appeared in 22 games for the Mariners this season. He has been out with a right hand fracture since June. Uh, this is just another example, guys. Uh, another example, okay, of how. Of how liberals, okay, how liberals are, are, are advocating for this type of behavior from the Black Lives Matter terrorists, that's what they are, they're terrorists, okay, they're not, they're not peaceful protesters, okay, they're chucking rocks and bottles at cops, it's attempted murder, okay. So this guy, Clevenger, goes on, he makes some comments about it, which he has every right to do by his First Amendment rights to speak his mind freely, everything he said was right, all those out there that were violently expressing themselves should be locked behind bars like animals, and Obama, like he said, he has failed. He is pathetic, okay? He absolutely is. So if, that's gonna, if, if that type of free speech is going to constitute you losing your job, being suspended, I mean, just look at it. I mean, What's happened in sports now is just, it's just appalling. It's absolutely appalling. The NFL, they do nothing about the, um, the disrespect shown to the national anthem. They do nothing about it. It seems like they support it, really, if you look at it. The NCAA, they're threatening North Carolina by not holding national championship games and everything like that in their city um, until they adhere to letting men use the women's restrooms because they believe in you know equality for everyone. Okay. The NBA is about to start. Let's see what they're going to do. I'm sure they're going to go the same way in hockey, so on and so forth. Okay, all those sports that are sitting, you know, um, in the offseason right now. 
It's getting crazy, guys. We are in the last days, okay? We are in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming soon, okay? What the Bible calls good, the world calls evil. What the evil calls good, the Bible calls evil, okay? You're living in a, you're, you're living in a, in a completely different world aside from what the Bible teaches, okay? But we knew it was going to get like this, okay? The world is afraid of the light. They don't want the light to shine. They don't want the light of Jesus Christ to shine down. This is a lawless, this is a, a lawless um, environment that we're now living in, okay? This is what we're seeing. Where animals can run wild, do what they want, and use any sort of excuse they can to cause trouble, to hurt people, and to cause destruction. If you've never given your life to Jesus, okay, if you've never if you never considered it, or if you have considered it and you've just been going back and forth about it and you would like to, you would like to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, why don't you leave me a comment on here? Let me know you would like to be saved. You would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay, I will write you back. I will lead you in a prayer, show you how to do that so you can invite Christ into your heart. Be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, no matter what it is that you've done. To him, it doesn't matter, okay? So go ahead and do that, and um, and I'll be glad to help you out, all right? Subscribe here if you're new, CardsFan480. I'll continue bringing you guys all the latest breaking news headlines, last day's news, Bible prophecy, how it's all tied in together, guys, with the soon coming return of Jesus Christ, okay? And he is coming back soon, all right? So I'll be back. Hang in there, guys. Just hang in there. We're almost there. It's almost over. He's coming soon.